Good morning, girls. Um, for your test coming up um, tomorrow, I just want to give you a quick revision of everything that's going to be in that test. Firstly, in this one, I'm going to focus on how are you going to study to understand the history of the development of the periodic table. So there is the summarized table in your book, which really takes everything together nicely. So how do you study this? Well, go and look at each of the scientists individually and look at what was the thing that made them stand out. So I've highlighted the things in pink, which are the things that they all had in common. So if you look at the first three, Newlands, Mayer and Mendeleev, you'll see they all worked with increasing atomic mass. So they used the mass of the elements and arranged them. But then they also have things that made them stand out. Um, for example, if you look at Newlands, he looked at the property of um, elements, every eighth element, the properties were the same. Now, when we look at properties, we talk about things like um, electron, uh, electricity conduction, heat conduction, could they be flattened into sheets? So he, he noticed that every eighth element, if you line them up next to each other, that every eighth element you will have a repetition. So he would put seven elements underneath each other, and then when he takes the eighth one and he puts it next to the first one in the top of the group, then he finds that there's repetition. Um, Lothar Mayer, he looked at the arrangement of the elements, also in increasing atomic mass, the same as the other two, but he said that there was a connection between mass uh, of the atomic mass and the elements' properties. So he looked and combined those two. Dmitry Mendeleev stands out as probably one of the most important scientists in the development of the periodic table. And that is that he actually recognized that there are elements that were missing that they hadn't discovered yet. So he created a periodic table on which he left spaces for those. And he became like the forerunner of why the periodic table is not shaped exactly rectangular or square. Henry Moseley, he came, came up as one of the most modern scientists. Obviously, he had more modern techniques to look at, but he was one of those who stood out in the sense that he did not use atomic mass. He looked at protons. He understood that protons makes every element unique. And therefore, he shied away from looking at atomic mass, and he focused on atomic number, which is the number of protons in an element. And he went and arranged. He stood out as arranging them in increasing atomic number and not necessarily into increasing mass. So his work resulted in the periodic table looking mostly the way it does today. Now, when we look at the periodic table, and that's also very important. We see that it's divided into four distinct blocks. There is the S block, and please note that hydrogen and helium, although hydrogen is here and part of group one, but it's not part of group one either, and helium is on the right-hand side where we expect only the non-metals to be. Um, in spite of that, they are S metals or S orbitals. Then there is the P block of elements, which is the block that takes six electrons because there's three P orbitals. And then there is the D block elements, and they are the elements that take 10 electrons at a time. And lastly, there's the F block at the bottom. The F block takes 14 electrons, which means this it's seven orbitals. So one orbital takes two electrons for the S block. The P block, the, there's three P orbitals. That's why there is six, and you'll see the six elements. And then the D block here in the middle, which are the ones that are five orbitals, five times two gives you 10 electrons. Now, how do I use this periodic table? So let's quickly um, do one of the, one of the elements that um, we've sort of practiced in class. So let's say, for example, we are going to focus on getting the SP notation for, let's say, silver. Okay, so I'm going to circle silver here because that's where I want to end, ultimately. So we'll start at the first, we start at the beginning and we work our way towards that element. So we see that the first element um, on period one, there is the 1s orbital, 1s, 
and I'm going to get two electrons in it. So that would be one and two. Second, we'll have an s orbital with two electrons. So that will be my 2s with two electrons. Then I will go over to my 2p, 2p, and 2p can take six electrons maximum, so I count off the six. Then from 2p I will go to 3s, 3s, which can take two electrons. Then from the 3s, you can see we go from 3s across, and this is the 3p, which can also take six, so 3p, that can take six. Then from 3p, I come to 4s, which has two electrons. But the interesting thing is when we go from, yeah, we need to go to this block. This is my D block. But this is not 4D. Only for the D block, the, if this is the fourth period, and this is 3D. Now, the um, electrons will go to 3D before they will go to the 4P. This is 4P over here. So it will be 3D, which can take 10 electrons. If you count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I'm in the 4P. So although this is 3 and this is 4 and this is 5 and this is 6, this is 1 less than that. So it's 3, 4, 5 and 6. So this is my 3D with 10. I go from 3D to 4P. So 4P is going to take six electrons again one two three four five six then i go to 5s my 5s can take maximum two and then from 5s i go to 4d not 5d but 4d and when i get to the 4d i count my blocks one two three four five six seven, eight, nine. So I have to count up to and including the element. So that means 4D, nine. So if I look at my SP notation for silver, it will be 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, 3D10, 4P6, 5S2, and then 4D, nine. Note again, I'm going to remind you, from 4s, we will think that the next one is going to be 4p, but the electrons don't go to the 4p because they first have to go to the 3d electrons. They first go to the 3d orbitals, then they go to 4p. And we will use the periodic table tomorrow in the test to write this sp notation for me in the same way.